What's up, everybody? We're here at Stokes Mazda right here on Ashley Phosphate Road. I got a video to show you today of a beautiful truck that just came in. I mean, we just traded this in last week. It's a 2013 Ford F-250 Lariat. And my goodness, is this not a good looking truck. I mean, this is a beautiful truck. Black, I mean, chrome. It's got it all, and today we're gonna to talk about it right here on the channel, and also right here on Facebook with Stokes Mazda Superstore, my friends. So stay tuned, everybody. I hope somebody buys this truck after watching my film on it today. All right, everybody, it's, it's a busy afternoon here in North Charleston. Today has been a gloomy day, okay? I mean, the weather has been, it looks like old man winter, winter is trying to make his way into Charleston, but he only kept us around 67 degrees, okay? So, old man winter, you're doing a poor job of getting it cold here in November. But that's okay, because I'm enjoying the weather myself, to be honest with you. So anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at this truck. Now, I want to do a condition report on it. So again, it's a 2013, it's an older truck. So I'm going to show you, if it's got dents, stings, or scratches, I'm going to point them out to you. I'm going to let you know the mileage and all the good little things about this beautiful Ford truck today. Now, because I also want to tell you right now, I want to make sure you make an informed decision before taking the time to put money in your car and gas to come up here to this dealership right here. Okay, I want to be as transparent as possible. I want to make sure you make a good decision before coming to test drive it. So let's go ahead and get that party started right now. First off, front end's looking good. It's big, it's beefy, it's a Ford F-250. Okay, they call it a Super Duty for a reason. I mean, look at that. Super Duty is kind of like right there in that chrome. The Ford logo is as big as my hand and larger, okay? That's probably more around the size of Bigfoot's hand if he was sitting right there, right? So that's very nice. It's big, it stands out, and it's got to. I mean, there's a lot of competition out there with the Dodge Rams and the Chevy 2500s, but they don't really seem to compete on a level of this truck right here. Now, also, you got fog lights down in the bottom right there. Very nice. You got your big hooks there if you need to pull somebody out the mud. Let's keep on moving around. So far, the outside's looking good. I haven't seen any dents, stings, or scratches on her. Let's take a look at these wheels. You got all terrain tires by BF Goodrich. Very nice. Chrome at that. Holy mackerel. Beautiful chrome wheels. Let's see what size these wheels are real quick while we're getting down on our knee. 20 inch. Holy moly. 285.65s with a 20 inch chrome wheel. And you know when you got mud on tires, you got tread. There's a suspension under there. Looks all pretty stock for the most part. There's your F-250 Super Duty Lariat badge. These mirrors do extend out if you got a fifth wheel on the back to be able to see exactly what is going on. Power Stroke Diesel B26.7 liter will get the job done on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> As Tim the Tool Man Taylor would say when we used to watch him on television back in the day. Now, it's a long truck. Look at that. I mean, that thing has got some length to it. That's because it is a crew cab, full four-door. So get the guys in and head out to the job site and go get that job done and make sure you make some money while you're doing it, okay? We ain't out here for our looks. A four by four, very nice. It's going to be a four by four. You ain't have to have a sticker on it to know it's four by four. You can look at it and tell. There's those big old pipes in the back for that diesel motor. It's going to push out that gas, okay? Now, don't you go spraying those ladies down on the strip in Myrtle Beach with that diesel smoke. It's, it might be funny, but to her, after she did her hair and makeup, it's not going to be funny to her. And I tell you, it's going to hurt somebody's feelings real quick. Now, you do have in the back back here, you got that big old tow package there. You got the iconic Stokes Mazda USA tag on the back. Backup sensors and a backup camera. That's a little loose. Somebody needs to tighten that little logo down, but not a big deal, okay? That drops down just like so with the spray-in bed liner. Got all that going on right there. Got all your, your big old bolts and stuff to hook up a fifth wheel if need be. I don't see one in the middle, though, so that may be something you have to add on. It's solid. So far, though, it's looking good. No dents, stings, or scratches, but I take that back. There's one scratch right there. It's got some touch-up paint in it, okay? But not too big of a deal. Back tires look good. Plenty of tread there. When they were new, they probably looked like a grappler tire, right? Take a look here. Diesel fuel, you gotta add that blue, uh, you know, whatever that blue stuff is that goes in there. I call it diesel blue or something like that. Got a back window that opens and closes. Again, full four door. The mileage on this diesel truck is 135,458 on the mileage. Again, that is nothing on a diesel truck, folks. 100K on a diesel truck. This thing will run three, 400,000 miles easy. Plenty of room. It's black on the interior as well. So everything's flowing very nicely. Power windows, auto up, down, one touch feature on driver's side. As you can see right there, you got your Sony stereo system. 
power seat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten way power seat. Leather, perforated with the holes in it, lets it breathe and stay cooler. Two pairs of sunglass holders up top. Nice steering wheel. Plenty of screens. Another massive screen right there. Now doesn't that look pretty? I'll tell you, this is a gorgeous truck. I love these big pods for your airflow, um, your four wheel drive. There's your key right there. Okay, no push start in this one. You got all your different auxiliaries. You got your brake gain, power outlets, Microsoft Sync, USB auxiliary. You got oh crap handles over there because at some point when you're riding in this truck with somebody, they're going to do something to make you say, oh crap, hang on. Okay, so very clean and a massive size armrest. Got a little rip right there, which is fixable, but I just want to point that out to you. Okay, so you see it. Four cup holders for supersized cups. There's probably 12 cup holders in, the in this whole truck. Okay. In the back back here, plenty of leg room. Shaquille O'Neal, Pate Manning would be just fine and dandy in the back of this truck. They probably have owned one of these trucks at some point in their life as well. You do have a 110 volt, 150 watt outlet right there. Plug and play. Charge those cameras up, charge that laptop up, get the blueprints out. Start building, architect. Very nice, so it's a clean truck for the most part. I give this probably a eight out of 10 for a used truck. It is in great shape. Come on down and drive it. I'm gonna go ahead and shut her off right now. If you are interested, come on down and take it for a ride today. I think you'll be happy with it if you buy it. It is a beautiful truck and it's well equipped. Come on down and see it today. Stokes Mazda in North Charleston, South Carolina. If you live in a different state and you can't find one this clean in your area, don't hesitate to contact me on YouTube if you're watching there, okay? We don't mind picking you up from the airport and having you come in and drive this big old boy home. Thank you again, everybody. God bless you and God bless America. We'll see you soon.